It's spring, and that means time for some spring cleaning. Today, we tackle the garage with Linda Chu. She is a professional organizer with Out of Chaos. Thanks for joining us this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Now, this garage is immaculate now, but it didn't look that way before, did it? No, it wasn't. Um, the homeowner had everything cluttered in the middle of the floor, all the way up to the roof, it bags and boxes. It was stacked high, and they didn't even know what they had. Oh, no idea. No idea. Now, it's completely organized, and you're going to show us how you did that, starting with this section right over here. Thank you. What we did, the homeowners needed an area to store everything, but most importantly, easy access to yes. their belongings. So you've got big bins here and they're all labeled. Exactly. Clear labels so that anyone in the household could read and find where everything is. And of course, everything had a home. So we've got Lego here. Richard, people, the, One of the homeowners. family, yeah, yes. he's got his name. He knows where his stuff is, some medical stuff, toys, cleaning supplies. And I notice you've got bins that are covered as well. Why is that? Well, covered for dust and protection and moisture and also the stackability. That's key. That's the key. Stackability. And you're working vertically, yes. which leads my eyes to some storage up here on the ceiling. And this is a great idea. Yes. Use of vertical space and also ceiling space is critical to avoid that pile on the floor. So we had mounts for their ski Skis supplies, right um, their, their um, umbrella, yep. and then again a broom rack here. Some broom rack and we've got some, and so uh, some more skiing stuff. Exactly. Really good use of the ceiling. Yeah. The ceiling and the vertical space. Now, this side of the garage I love, especially because of these bins that you have here. I think these are fantastic. Tell us about these. Now, this um, shelving unit is fabulous. It has the ability of having bins with adjustable um, widths. So, in this case, the homeowner wanted an area for a pantry for those bulk purchases. They've got fruit, vegetables, pops, some, some paper towels, and of course, more bulk purchases exactly. here, which really is great because now you've got more room in your kitchen. Yes. So it, 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 it avoids the clutter on the kitchen counter and it removes everything out of sight and still in an orderly manner. Again, continuing with some more bins. Now tell us about the shelving here as well because this is really cool stuff, isn't it? It is a great unit, adjustable shelving, no other tools, everything just pops out and all that's necessary is at every two inch increments, stainless steel, it doesn't rust and... And um, this will take a lot of weight, won't Over it? Over 600 pounds per shelf on steel shelving. Now that's important when you're going to be stacking things and as well as you're as you progress in life, yes. you, you collect more things, don't oh, yeah. you? Things are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> they are heavy. Yes. Now, you've also got a great space here for the kids. They're very active, and yes. this uh, creates kind of a, a mud room or a wet room. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, again, it, it removes all the dust and the mud away from the home. So, when the kids come back from an activity, all they have to do is hang everything and put all their dirty their boots, boots on a rack, and everything is. Um, you know, and I like this because it's really, you can access it easily. Yes. So, it's not, you're not digging to find stuff. No, and so I think that's great. Now, great storage for the bicycles as well. Now, you're, you're working vertically again. Yes, moving everything away from the floor to enhance that space, but yet using unused wall space by using the bicycle mount so that the bicycles can be mounted on. And again, on. easy to access. These hooks are really, you can just pop just it up. The bikes, exactly. yeah. Now, we've also got some more storage on this side as well. Um, this uh, particular family had a lot of sports equipment. Yes, all their camping equipment and um, whitewater rafting and so forth. So again, with everything in bins. Bins and mark. That's and key. mark. So it's very easy when they're going out for a day, they just remove the whole bin into the car, off they go. No searching. It makes it going on a, a camping trip a, a lot it's more fun. More fun. You can <laughs> concentrate on fun. Now getting to this point was difficult, wasn't it? Oh well, yes, it was a long process. Now, wh wh where do you suggest the family start when they want to do this, but they don't know where to begin? The first thing is everything needs to be touched. Every item needs to be removed out of Take the it garage. All out. Empty it, and then as you go through every item, everything has to be categorized. All like things together. Put camping, all the camping, camping canning, yeah. exactly. All electrical and equipment. Until then, you don't know what volume you have. When you just when you see the volume, then you can make decisions on the quantity and the size of the containers to hold that quantity. That makes a lot mm -hmm. of sense. Now, what do you do after that? Throw some stuff out yes. as well? And <laughs> part of the weeding process is exactly that. Some things are obvious garbage. There's some recycling areas, things that belong elsewhere, like there's a lot of things that go to the cabin. Yeah. And then there's a huge um, area for a garage sale. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. Now, finally, the, the family can park the car yes. in the garage. <laughs> now, of course, we talked about a garage, but these are really techniques that you can incorporate in storage spaces in other parts of the in, house in as well. In any area that a person lives and works, it could be a home office, a regular 
office, kitchen, even a bathroom. Yeah. Concepts are the same in group Getting homes. organized feels good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Linda Chu. She is a professional organizer with Out of Chaos. Thank you very much. And remember how to is a regular segment here on Breakfast Television. If you have a problem or a concern, let us know at howto at citytv.com. We'll do the work and show you how to get it done. I'm Bill Mantis. We'll see you next time.